What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today we're checking out the new ASUS ProArt PZ13. So I first got my hands on this computer when it was first announced at Computex 2024. And there I was one of the first to be able to bring it around, experience it, see what it is able to do when it comes to the form factor and ultimately figure out where it comes in terms of the productivity and digital art lineup that ASUS has been working on for many years. To break down the lineup, you have three different models. You have the PZ13, which is essentially a two-in-one tablet laptop combination with Copilot. And you also have the PX13, which is a full-on laptop with dedicated GPU, as well as the P16, which is the bigger brother, which also features an AMD Ryzen AI processor with dedicated GPU. And I would say that even though they all come in the same pro art lineup and umbrella, they have different purposes depending on the target demographic and your specific use case. For starters, the PZ13 is a computer that is really focused on digital art and multimedia. It has an amazing battery life and it's powered by the Snapdragon X Plus processor, which is an ARM-based system, which gives you ultimate efficiency, optimized performance, and for those who really want to be able to have an intuitive touch and pen experience with your computer slash tablet, but like to have the dedicated Windows operating system, I would say the PZ13 is a computer that delivers incredible performance, battery life, hardware, and design at significantly lower price point if you're also considering something like a Microsoft Surface. It also kind of competes in the category of tablets while exemplifying more features that closer resemble a laptop experience when it comes to the user interface. So I would say that's where the market hits. When it comes to the design itself, it is beautiful. You take a look at the way that it is carved out. It feels very durable. There's room to breathe along the sides and you have your button on the top and on the side, you also have your speaker setup and you're also gonna find two USB four ports and underneath you have a full size SD card slot or a micro SD card slot. On top of that, you've got a 13 inch display and it weighs 0.85 kilograms and measures in at nine millimeters of thickness. What you'll really notice though is that it is built like a tank and the design details are impressive. It has a sleek matte black finish that the entire ProArt lineup has and little ridges along the top chamfer so you don't have any sort of fingerprints and I think that's been a big focus of ASUS's lineup so far. The case is also great and I absolutely love this olive green color which has become probably one of my favorite colors and it just has this durable finish that I don't really know what it is. I personally don't don't like it whenever tablets and two-in-ones have a black case because I find that whatever surface you lay it on it just picks up all of the dust and grime and it has like oil marks and that kind of takes away from the experience but I don't know how to describe this material has a good texture to it it is still soft to the touch it protects the tablet really nicely on top of its Corning Gorilla Glass and I just like the ridged grip. Um, as you walk around, it is just a very easy two-in-one computer to bring around, though I will say it is not the lightest setup out there and you'll still get a lighter form factor with a tablet. It definitely resembles a laptop a bit more. It is machined really nicely and I think durability was definitely a big intention for the ProArt because it is made for the creative on the go. Being a two-in-one, of course, the keyboard is really important and this keyboard gives you a large trackpad, full-size keyboard with mechanical keys with 1.4 millimeters of key travel. And yeah, generally speaking, coming from like other Asus laptops, I love the way that it types. And of course, having a stand allows you to adjust the angle exactly the way that you would like and also fold it up, flip it over and use it flat on the table when you decide to draw or write and take advantage of that tablet form factor that we're gonna talk about a little bit later. So when it comes to design, I think they've done a great job here. The magnets and everything are really strong and I feel like the computer in general is built like a tank. As for the display though, this right here is a 13 inch screen and it has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, 60 Hertz refresh rate, and it is a Asus Lumina OLED display. The important part here is that it has a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, which is obviously really important when it comes to doing any sort of art. And it's just like a standard to be expected 
for a computer that is focused on that. The colors are beautiful, the screen is vibrant, and whether you're enjoying multimedia, doing drawing, editing photos, or working on a spreadsheet or visual presentation, you're going to love this display. And I think why you'd buy this computer is to have that intuitive experience to be able to interact with it like a laptop, tablet, and a writing and drawing board to get your ideas out there in as many dimensions as possible while still also being as efficient as possible in your workflow. The only thing is the display is a max 500 nits. And if you plan to use this outside, typically you're gonna need a display that is over a thousand nits in some cases, but being an OLED screen, that is just one of the trade-offs. But I will say I really enjoyed the 16 to 10 aspect ratio because that is definitely the best for productivity. Having everything laid out, the 2880 by 1800 resolution, 85% screen to body, just allows you to have room to work with. And I also like how there is a tiny bit of a gap around the bezel for your hand to rest on when you're writing on the screen. I know a lot of times people like to have it displays that are right up to the edge and with laptops I definitely prefer that but with the tablet I think it's good to have just a bit of space to be able to work with. The speakers on this tablet are also really good. They're multi-direction, and so if you're watching movies and enjoying that, and I feel like a lot of people who purchase this form factor will be doing, the Dolby Atmos is always nice to have on top of just the beautiful display in general and the eye care features. So what about the performance of the PZ13? And I think what's to know about the ASUS lineup is that there are so many offerings. You start from the ProArt lineup. This right here is the PZ13, and it features a Snapdragon X Plus processor. And as you move to the PX13 and the P16, you have the AMD Ryzen AI processors that can go up to the HX370 with the dedicated GPUs. The performance of the Snapdragon X Plus is one that gives you a really good optimized experience Experience with ARM supported apps, but it also works really well with apps that also have the emulator. I would say all of the major digital art apps and ones that you're going to be using, like myself, such as Photoshop, Lightroom, stuff from the Adobe suite, as well as drawing apps and spreadsheeting applications, have been ARM optimized for quite a while, and that's where you're going to get impressive and seamless performance experience. I think anybody who is thinking of using this for digital art and also for presentations, I think. I can also think of many use cases for architecture and medical is really going to have more than enough power than you're going to need on a daily basis. Where the processor may have a bit of a disadvantage is if you're doing a lot of heavy editing. Stuff like DaVinci, Premiere will definitely demand more in terms of CPU and GPU power. And I would say that the Snapdragon X Plus is just not built for that yet. It is really curated to the student, the note taker, the digital artist, Artists, and from those use cases and from a prosumer use case along with administrative tasks the performance was really really good where it does shine though is the battery life and any arm computer is just known to give you impressive optimization and efficiency and I mean compared to some of the other counterparts this was able to get nearly 19 hours in video playback and that is amazing considering it is closer to a laptop than a tablet you can really go through a few days of usage without having to worry about anything Thing, and I think that is what's so awesome. With the special bundle, you also get the Asus Pen 2.0, and I feel like this is a must-have if you're going for a two-in-one setup because it's honestly how you make the most of the experience. This pen has 4,096 level pressure sensitivity to create the finest lines, and it also has over 140 hours of usage in between charges and charges via USB-C. It has a 266 hertz sampling rate, and you can also utilize the buttons for a quick shortcut and so I really enjoy using the pen experience on this. And I mean, a lot of times when you're doing presentations and stuff, it's just a lot easier to be able to highlight things using the pen, pinch to zoom using the touch screen, and also going back to using it like a laptop. So when it comes to some of the other models in ASUS's ProArt lineup for 2024, you have the PX13 and the P16. And at a higher price point, you have the option of more performance. If you're someone who does need more graphic intensive performance, as well as easily for video editors out there where you can really benefit from having a dedicated GPU, a more powerful processor, 
and more RAM. Both of these computers come with an AMD Ryzen AI 9 with the option to spec it up to an HX370. Most importantly, you also have the NVIDIA 40 series GPU. And with our review of the ZenBook S16, we already found that the integrated graphics within the AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX370 was already really good, enough to be able to game moderately, but with the internal graphics, as well as the dedicated NVIDIA graphics, you really do get the best of graphics capability when it comes to productivity and even gaming if you want in the ASUS lineup. Of course, you also have the OLED displays, which have a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, and it's the same display that you find on the PZ13. So I will say the PZ13 is for those who want to have the hardware benefits of the ProArt lineup, including the impressive display, as well as the IO, pretty solid graphics, pen input, touch screen, and the versatility at a lower price point, that model is for you. But if you're willing to spend a bit more money for performance, then you have the option of the PX13 and the P16, and you can still use these models as a tablet because the display actually folds 360 degrees. And so there's still all of that versatility there. And in addition to that, they also have a little creative feature that is the dial pad. The dial pad is a feature within the trackpad that uses the space of it, but you can actually customize it for certain toggles and settings such as brightness controls, brush size, and also for like spinning around a wheel just to be able to precisely pinpoint it. One thing to keep in mind specifically when you're deciding between the PX13 and the P16 is that the PX13's display can hinge 360 degrees. Use it like a tablet and carry it around like that, but the P16 is just a traditional laptop and it does not have the capability to fully flip back and use in modes such as tent mode or in tablet mode. So at the end of the day, this is how I would sum up the experience of the PZ13. It really is one of the best two-in-one -one computers that I've checked out to date because of its build quality, its accessories, it's nailed most of the hardware, and I love the fact that you can use it in multiple dimensions. On top of that, it's got great battery life, and at the price point, it is more competitive than its other options out there, and it does resemble more of a laptop compared to a tablet. I feel like a lot of times, of course, when you're talking about the iPad, you get the iPad level of performance, but this is a full-fledged Windows 11 setup. And depending on your work field, you might prefer or even need that. But if you're looking for more performance and video editing focus, then the PX13 and the P16 are going to be the other ProArt options to look at where you have the dedicated GPU and the AMD Ryzen AI processor. As always though, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.